a spur of the moment adventure. Now, if you have followed my husband, Turbo John, for any length of time, you've probably heard the story of our RV, how we got it, how we got this truck that I'm sitting in. He has this habit of deciding he wants to buy something that is in other states at the last second and then hopping in the car and going to get it like on, I don't know, New Year's Eve, things like that. Well, we're doing it again today. Chase and John have been talking about getting a drag and drive car that they could work on together. And this morning, which it's Sunday, this morning, John said, oh, there's this great car, but the guy, he's moving at the end of the week. He's got to get rid of it right now. I'm like, look, it's Sunday. It's not even noon yet. Let's go. So we went and grabbed the trailer, put the race car in the garage, and are headed out of state to go pick up this car at the last minute. Just another crazy Turbo John adventure. So here we go. I'm not kidding. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe we can get it on the way back. All right, guys. So we made it out. So Kelly gave you an intro. We just went for a test ride. I'm fixing to show y'all what car we got. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. We'll see how it works out. It's going to be a great drag and drive car. Uh, mainly, it might be Chase's first car when he turns 16. But the drag and drive stuff is something we've been wanting to do and get into. So this has got a little bit of work we got to do, but not a ton. Let me show you what we got. Check it out. It is perfect for what we're going. This is an 89. It's got 110,000 miles on it. It does not have the dreaded red interior. It's a C4, of course, so it's got a tune port uh, 350 in it. Chase, what do you think about it? I like it. We just went for a ride in it, and it's got a little bit of work we got to do. There's a little bit of cracked up paint on it, but luckily I know some people that are in the body shop business, and they, <laughs> they can hook me up. Um, let's open the the here the interior stuff is good 700 r4 seats work headlights work there's some things we're gonna have to figure out like you know what this stuff does but let me show you the motor real fast all right guys and here goes the motor uh luckily i talked to some of my buddies before we ventured too far into the corvette world brian and josh both i told them i was looking at corvettes and they said, whatever you do, do not get one with the Opti Spark with the LT1. They said they were a nightmare to work on. So LT1 was a no-go, even though it makes more horsepower. Uh, this is 89. It's got the aluminum heads on it down there. This one is unmolested. So, I mean, it has got smog pumps still on it, factory manifolds, or headers. Looks like they're headers from the factory. So this thing has like got some sweet potential. I think they have 245 horsepower from the factory uh, headlights work on it. Paint is in pretty good shape, man. I like this. Freaking awesome. I'm super, super, super excited to get a Corvette. Um, I had never wanted a Corvette. I've had a bunch of buddies that have had some over time. And this one, I'm excited. Uh, shifts good, runs good. Uh, you know, and it's a small block Chevrolet. So it's Gen 1 small block Chevrolet. If I need to work on it, I can. Uh, we also have an LS motor we could put in it if we wanted to. Um, air conditioner is not working at the moment, so we got to get some stuff. We got to work on it. It needs it needs a little bit of love. He he hadn't had it long, like I was saying. He bought it as a project, but since he's not going to have time to to work on it and fix it, we've got it now. So all right, guys. Well, Chase, dragon drive car, baby. Let's go. All right, and this was a very. Uh, we got now. We got to go. What five five hours back home? Worth it worth it we'll, we'll get back home we're gonna try bucky's again bucky's was a no-go for us this last time never been to bucky's. kelly's never been to bucky's so we're gonna hit bucky's up a little bit later he gave us a heck of a deal on a corvette chase has been looking at corvettes but we're looking at corvettes and trans ams and camaros and he decided he liked the look of a corvette so luke cooked us up so i appreciate luke giving us a good deal a uh, little bit of work, a little bit of tweaking we got to do to it, but I think it's going to be awesome. Appreciate it again, sir. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks for your service, too.
Hey guys, gonna have to do a voiceover. They were having a pool party, so I don't want to get demonetized on this video. Uh, opened the trailer door, and the roads were really bumpy when we were in South Carolina. No weight in the trailer. The trailer was bouncing all over the place. Pulled the light down. It started falling apart. So now we got to fix the trailer as well.